you are going to be keeping track of the social media content on the podcast social media worksheet. There will be two tabs for each of the episodes, the wide tab and the Instagram tab. So it's just as you would suspect, the wide tab is for the media that is the wide orientation or the landscape orientation. And the Instagram version will be the square and the tall versions of the media. Now, you can also use the tall versions for Facebook stories as well. And I know that there's a lot of use for the square version. Even Facebook's going more towards the square Um, But this is how we've organized it so that the wide versions will be going on things like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Google My Business. Then the Instagram version will be going on things like if you have Pinterest, it'll go on Pinterest. It'll go on the uh, Instagram stories as well as the Facebook stories like like I mentioned before. The first person who's going to touch it, the first step is to make a copy of these. These tabs, the episode 000, those are the templates. So what you'll do is go down to the tab, hit that little arrow and click duplicate. And then look for the copy, change it, take the copy of out episode, put the episode number and leave the word open. This open in parentheses, as soon as Um, as soon as the writer is done writing for this, that will be changed to written. And then as soon as it's posted, it will be changed to posted. Those steps will be included in the process. So we'll go ahead and make a, a duplicate of the Instagram version for episode one. So hit duplicate, update the title. Don't just double click in the tab. Oops. and episode one. The other thing is, is you want to drag these tabs over. You always want to have the most recent episode on the far left. So whenever you make a a copy of it or duplicate it, move those tabs to the far left. Another thing you can do is if it starts to get cluttered up, as these get completed, like I said, as someone's written it, the tab will be changed to written. As it Um, clutters up, you can talk to your host and you can either uh, change the name of this template to, you know, um, January through June of 2020 and then make another copy for the next, um, the next session. So don't let this get too cluttered up so that you're um, taking too much time up working on it. And what I would do is when you make a copy of this whole document, so like, let's say, this one's cluttered up. You want to make a second version and you could even put like episodes, you know, one through four on this, this worksheet, you know, go up here and do make a copy and then you can, um, you know, make this copy of it. What I would do is make this new copy, the current copy. So, you know, if the first one is episode one through six, Um, you know, you'll be able to do maybe more episodes than that, but, um, and then save it and then come through and just delete all the content because then this will still be the template and this is going to be linked into the process. So it's always good to be working on the exact same document. So if you make a copy of this document, Um, continue to use this one as your working copy. I hope that makes sense. Just uh, zip me an email if that doesn't make sense. But the number one thing is, is the link to this document is linked to processes and it will, you'll start erroring out and having to go find the right document. If you make a copy of this and your working copy is a different, is that new copy. So always keep this exact document, this very first one that you create always keep this one as your working document. So that is the making of the new the new document. Um, and um, like and then as you're going through the process, what's going to happen is the production assistant will be at not they'll be adding a link to the image or video URL. So 
Each of those Dropbox files, the exact file will be saved as a shareable file. And that link will be put into this field. And one thing to note is that the link from Dropbox, they add a few letters. So make sure that the final letters are .mp4 or .mp3. Um, but just kind of test it. And if it's not working, you know, go into the system that you're using and, you know, use the help desk or whatever and make sure that it's working. So it might take a little bit of testing at first, and then you can tweak the process. If you need to change your process straight process for creating the content, be sure that you do that. You have full access. That's your very own copy.